So let's start with the first fight uh, that you'll see right after the short intermission, because as he points out, you got two former world champions, both of them looking to get back into the win column, needing that victory to step back into the front of the line to challenge for the world title. Uh, it is the former unified champ, Daniel Roman, taking on Juan Carlos Payano. And let's start with Juan Carlos Payano. Juan, you know, everyone wants to know how your training has been going for this fight. And what should we expect when you get into the ring with Danny Roman or Felix De Jesus will do the translation. Buenas, eh, Juan Carlos. Todo el mundo quiere saber cómo ha ido tu entrenamiento para esta gran pelea frente a Danny Román y qué puede esperar el público para ese día. Juan Carlos. Yeah, sí. I think I think he's having trouble hearing us. Uh, Felix we, Ryan, you want to get yeah. to Danny? Okay, so we'll we'll make sure and we'll get the audio situation rectified with him let's go to daniel roman danny same question to you first of all why don't you let people know how training has been going in light of a pandemic for this huge fight and, and what should we expect when you get into the ring with juan carlos payano oh uh thank you uh, everything's been going great uh we've been doing a few adjustments with this pandemic going on you want me to but, you 26 we'll be ready for uh, yeah yeah, yeah. And what should we expect when you two step into the ring? Oh, you know, um, he's a former world champion. Uh, I'm a former unified champion. So it's going to be a quality, quality fight uh, against a quality player. And, uh, you know, we, we're going to try to make it our night. I'm curious, Danny, uh, what did you learn from that loss from Ahmad Daliyev? Uh, and what, did you, what do you believe a victory on September 26th? Do you think it will get you in that immediate rematch? That, that that's the the goal of the team, you know. But uh, I'm not overlooking Payano. Uh, Payano's a great fighter, a quality fighter, like I said. And uh, I'm not overlooking him. Uh, first, we gotta get past him, and then uh, hopefully, hopefully we could, we could get the uh, rematch with uh, MJ and uh, get those titles back. Let's see if uh, we can bring in Juan Carlos Payano. And Juan, uh, hopefully, we got everything worked out, but. Why don't you let members of the media know how has your training been going for Daniel Roman and what should we expect when you get in the ring with him? Felix will do the translation. Juan, ¿está ahí activo? ¿No se escucha bien? Sí, sí, se escucha. Ahora sí. Juan, queremos saber sobre tu entrenamiento. Ok, perfecto. Juan, ¿cómo te ha ido en tu entrenamiento hasta ahora para esta gran pelea frente a Dani Román? Sí, hasta ahora ha sido un microciclo de entrenamiento muy, muy fuerte. Estamos ya concentrados para eso y ya que sabemos que vamos con un excelente boxeador eh, y estamos tratando de tomar toda la estrategia posible para eh, tratar de hacer un buen trabajo y conseguir una victoria. No, we definitely respect Danny Roman. He's a great fighter, but this is a, an opportunity of a lifetime. So we train hard and you're going to see the best of a piano for that fight. Let's ask Juan if we could uh, one more question, um, Felix. You you look at his record. He's dropped two of his last three fights. In both of those losses, he's been stopped. Can you tell us why September 26 will be different? Okay, we uh, may have lost Felix here, Brian. Sorry we about lost that. Felix. Okay, no problem, Danny. Well, uh, let's let's get right to the members of the media because I'm sure they have some questions for him. Chris De Blasio, of course, our VP of Communications. I know members of the media have some questions. Let's bring them in for Danny Roman. Thank you, Brian. Um, first question comes from Keith Eidick with Boxing Scene. Keith, you can unmute and go ahead, please. Uh, hi, uh, my question is for Danny. Danny, I know what it was 
discussed anyway a fight against Emmanuel Rodriguez. What is your understanding as to why Rodriguez did not take the fight? And how do you view uh, Juan Carlos Payano as a different uh, type of challenge than Rodriguez would have been? I mean, with uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez, uh, I don't really know what happened with him and uh, with that fight. But like my focus is on Payano right now. He's the guy in front of me, so I worry about him. Well, how do you view Payano at this point in his career, especially what's with, ha- with what's happened to him in his recent fights? I mean, um, he got uh, he, uh, I believe two uh, against uh, with a Inoui, now Neri. His last two fights, uh, so I mean, um, he lost with big names, you know, with quality fighters. Uh, so I mean, a fight's a fight, you know. Anything can happen in a fight, so I'm, I'm getting ready for that, and I'm getting ready for uh, fight the best, the best of Payano. Do you feel he's more dangerous in the sense that this could be his last opportunity against the top opponents such as yourself? Uh, it, it could be. It could be, you know, but, like, I'm not taking him lightly, you know. I'm taking him serious, like, if, if I was defending the bell, I was fighting against a world champion. Thank you, Danny. Danny, thank you. Uh, Felix, let's see if we have Felix De Jesus. Felix De Jesus. Yes, I'm, I'm back up. I'm back on, Brian. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Can you ask Juan Carlos? Listen, he has been stopped in two of his last three fights. Can he tell us why will September 26 be different against Danny Roman? Juan Carlos, do, tres, en tus últimas tres peleas, en dos te han parado en seco. ¿Qué puede ser diferente este 26 de septiembre? ¿Qué va a aportar Juan Carlos para esa pelea? Bueno, va a ser una nueva diferencia porque ya venimos con la experiencia de no hacer el mismo error que cometimos. Bueno, y tratar de... de siempre vamos... Eh, yo digo que una derrota eh, enseña más que una, que una victoria. Y hasta ahora hemos trabajado fuerte para eso. Y, y sabemos con el tipo de peleador que vamos, que es muy, eh, muy activo en el ring, Y estamos tratando de hacer lo mejor posible, de trabajar lo mejor que se pueda para, para, hacer un, para, que, para que sea un buen combate y conseguir una nueva victoria. Well, th- this is a time to be prepared, Brian. We've committed errors in those fights that we've lost uh, where they've taken me down. But we've come uh, knowing that we're fighting a good fighter in Danny Romain. And we have really, really prepared well so this doesn't happen. You do learn from your errors in these fights. So that's why I'm going to come out a different Juan Carlos Payano. You will see that night. And, and, and lastly, Felix, from me for uh, Juan Carlos, is does he feel like this is a sense of desperation? This may be his last uh, attempt at getting uh, challenging for a world title. So it's almost a sense of desperation at, for this fight. Hay un, eh, para esta pelea, Juan Carlos, como una desesperación que necesita ganar, es tu última oportunidad para ganar un título, así tú lo estás mirando esta pelea Sí, creo que ya eh, siempre toda pelea le, le he, he fajado siempre he puesto todo mi empeño para conseguir una victoria, pero como esta ya eh, creo que eh, ya posiblemente ya sean ya finalizando mi carrera como boxeador y estoy tratando de dar lo mejor de mí para salir con buen pie de boxeo Yes, I've always fought hard in all my fights, uh, Brian, but especially this one. We're looking at the end of my career. I know I need a great showing, a good showing for the fans here. So definitely, yeah, there's that little extra oomph to give the best of me. Fantastic. Chris de Blasio, any more questions from the members of the media? There are. Thank you, Brian. Uh, next question is from Jeremy Herridges with Fansided.com. Jeremy, go ahead. Hi, Danny. Thank you for taking the, the time today to talk. Um, you looking at your time as champion and now being a former champion, trying to work your way back to get your titles. Can you describe if there's a difference in mindset? Um, is anything changed with you and your desire to, to, to be a champion and has it done anything different as far as how you approach this fight? Um, we're being more focused than ever. Um, like I said, uh, this last fight, uh, this last loss, I don't think I lost a fight. You know, it was a, Close fight, but I think I, I took it. But you know, we set our mind on this guy, on Payano. He's a he's a guy in front of me, and uh, we're working as hard as uh, as when we were champion. Is it hard? Is it hard not to look past 
Payano. Obviously, you want those titles back. Um, how do you stay focused on this fighter and not think ahead to the different steps ahead of you? Uh, I'm not. You know, it's uh, it's uh, one step at a time. You know, <laughs> first it's Payano, and then we'll see after that. Uh, one question for Juan Carlos Payano. Um, as far as his time left in boxing, I, I know at 36, does he feel like a loss ends his career or does he have a, a time frame in mind of how many years left he thinks he has in boxing? A la, a la edad de 36 años, eh, Juan Carlos, eh, tú piensas que eh, cuánto te queda en el boxeo y si específicamente eso de enseñar que todavía tienes a esta edad eh, de poder boxear. Sí, claro. Eh, siempre, toda mi vida he boxeado. Desde los seis años he estado en el boxeo y, y he tenido una buena, una buena eh, eh, trayectoria en el boxeo y hasta ahora creo que eh, no, no eh, eh, puedo todavía conseguir un, un triunfo más. Y aparte de que para mí es un honor pelear con, con este gran peleador, eh, va a ser una buena pelea, eso se va seguro porque van a haber dos guerreros encima de ring, eh, dando lo mejor de cada uno, y como siempre, dar un buen espectáculo para los televidentes, y como siempre, dar lo mejor de mí. Um, I've been boxing since six years old. I've given my life to uh, boxing, um, and it's been a good run. It's been a, definitely a good run. I respect uh, enormously uh, Danny Roman, and the people can't expect two warriors to get down there uh, you know, the 26 and give their all. And that's what people are know that I can give them. And that's what I'll give them that night. Thank you, gentlemen. And best of luck on the 26th. Thank you. Gracias. Thanks, thanks everybody and for taking time to talk to us. My first question for Juan Carlos, you know, you mentioned learning from your last couple of losses. So we're wondering if you could sort of elaborate a little more on some of the things that you've learned from those two defeats and how you plan to sort of fix that in this fight against Danny Roman. Juan Carlos, mencionaste que aprendiste mucho de las dos derrotas eh, en las peleas antes de esta. Eh, si nos puede elaborar un poquito más de qué es lo que aprendiste eh, después de estas derrotas que tuviste. Algo, tener un poco más de precisión y tratar de, de, de no desesperarme y nada, y tratar de, como siempre, un boxeador siempre nunca revela su, su secreto, pero estamos entrenando fuertemente para esta pelea y dar un buen espectáculo, como dije. Estamos fuertemente entrenando, estamos física, mentalmente puesto para esta pelea. Well, a, a boxer never reveals um, what uh, he's going to bring to the ring that night. Uh, but definitely I'm going to be more precise. That's something I didn't have in the uh, two losses and not be that desperate. I found that I was a little desperate in those two fights when I could just be a little more precise and, um, you know, uh, be or do a better job in, in those two aspects of the fight. One quick question for uh, Danny. You know, obviously coming from the loss to Ahmed Ali, have you, you know, you're now sort of more or less back to the drawing board as a contender, not as a champion. As, have you kind of found your motivations change a little bit throughout this training camp now that, you know, you're no longer a champion? And uh, on the contrary, it, uh, it motivated me even more. Because <laughs> I, uh, I know what my goal is next. Uh, not overlooking Payano, but like, you know, Hopefully after this one, we could get that rematch against uh, MJ. Yo, you, yes, you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.